Now select the middle polygon as shown. Go to the settings next to bevel and change the values to minus 3, minus 2, OK. Go to the edge level, select the edges shown. Okay, don't forget to click the control key on your keyboard to add to the selection. Click the chamfer setting and change it to 0.5. Okay. Maximize the perspective. Rotate the view to see the created boat body. Now we need to add material, so Go back to the four viewports, click the material editor button in the toolbar to open the material editor. In the first slot, click the get material button, go to the material library and choose the wood old material, double click it to make it the current material in the selected slot, close the material map browser window, assign it to the boat and if you go and click the render button you will get a missing map coordinates. In order to fix this, you are going to add a map scalar modifier, which is suitable for objects with multiple slopes. As you see here, the map needs adjustments, so in the scale value type 10, okay, now we want to add a white material to the polygons found inside of the boat. So go to the next slot and rename it white mat and drag the specular color to the diffuse color. We need to assign the white material to the polygons inside the boat. So in the modify panel, go to the polygon level and select the polygons inside. So in the top view, make sure that you are in the window mode, not the crossing mode and Select the polygons shown. Press the control key on your keyboard to add to the selection. Okay, now assign the white mat to the selection. Okay, if you go to the map scaler, you will find that the mapping has been gone. This is because the map scaler now is applied only to the selected polygons and it is not applied to the whole object. So be careful when you go back in the stack, you have to make sure that you are in the object level and then go up in the stack once again. Now the mapping has been adjusted. Okay. Let's create the mass subject. So go to the create panel, click geometry, cylinder, and in the top view, click and drag to create a cylinder whose radius equals to 0.2 and height equals to 27. Click the select and move button and change the value of x to minus 5 and y to 0 and name the newly created cylinder mass 01. Okay, let's create the second mass object. So go to the create geometry, click the cylinder button and in the left view click and drag to create a cylinder whose radius equals to 0.2 and height equals to 20. Click the select and move button in the toolbar and change the z value to 1.5 
and rename the newly created cylinder mass02. Okay. We need to align mass02 object with mass01. So make sure that the left viewport is the current view and the reference coordinates set to view and mass02 is the selected object. Click the align tool in the toolbar. Click the mass01 object to be the target object. Click center radio buttons since the reference coordinate is set to view and you are in the left view. So the X axis will be the horizontal axis in the left view. Click the X position. You will notice that the mass02 has been moved to be exactly in the center of mass01. Click the apply button. Now click the Z position. Check the maximum radio button so that the maximum of mass 02 would touch the minimum of the mass 01. Click OK. OK. Now we need to apply the white material to both mass. So press the control key on your keyboard to select both mass. Open the material editor. Make sure that the white material is the selected one and click the assign button to both of them. Close the material editor, then click file, save as, type the name for Luca, and click the save button to save the file. OK. In this tutorial, we learned how to use bevel profile to extrude a shape using another shape path as the beveling profile. We learned how to convert objects into editable follies and manipulate the object at its different sub-object levels. We learned how to assign more than one material to the same object by assigning materials to the selected polygons at the polygon sub-object level.